shooting on the Upper East Side this morning with Hazel and Avery, and this dog just peed <laughs> right in the middle of the frame. And there are kids walking to school. It's just, it's a different vibe up here. We also stopped at Angelina to get a coffee, and it's this really cute Paris cafe. Um, excuse my nails, I have to paint them later today, but we're just having a gorgeous morning. The weather's amazing. And we have just attached this leg to the wrong side of the table. It's supposed to be on the outside here instead of in there. So I think it's stuck on there. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I am just getting ready right now. I think there were some clips in the beginning of this video. I kept trying to attempt to start another one, but then never really picked it back up. So I did go and shoot with Sammy and we went to Cafe Katsun and then I can't remember where the other clips were from. So <laughs> you guys saw a couple of different things, but I am just packing my bag now with some transitional autumn outfits and I'm gonna go meet Avery on the Upper East Side. We're gonna go to this coffee shop called Angelina or that's like kind of around where we're gonna meet. We actually went there yesterday and it was a really pretty like Parisian cafe. It's right across the street from Butterfield if you guys have ever been up that way. Um, but really, really great coffee. I highly recommend that. Hathel, Avery and I shot a little bit and then um, Hathel and I actually got another coffee at Butterfield before coming home. So um, yeah, it was nice, but we're gonna go and do basically the same thing and then we're gonna walk over to Ralph's. So we're gonna meet over by Angelino's, which is like on Lexington. And then we're gonna walk over more east to get to Ralph's and kind of like shoot on the way. So I have three outfits. I'm hoping that the third one works because I haven't tried on the dress yet, but I'll show you guys what I'm wearing now and then I'm gonna pack my bag and leave. Okay, so there's a lot of home updates that you guys are gonna see in the background of me showing you guys this outfit, but I also need to try to figure out how to get a mirror closer to the window because it's a little bit dark here, but it's also pretty overcast this morning, so there's not a crazy, crazy amount of light. Um, I also need to give this mirror a clean because it's filthy, but um, this outfit that I'm wearing right now is Cezanne, this like little um, vest top is a striped number from then and then this sweater is a Jenny Kane like collared cashmere sweater with some leather shorts you can't really tell that they're leather um, but I have them folded up just to make them a little bit shorter because I'm gonna be wearing flat shoes which are I think I'm, oh I was gonna do Converse but I also have these like little patent leather ones behind me that I might wear too I'm gonna bring them because I'll wear them for another outfit at least but um, I haven't decided fully, so I guess I'll just bring both and then decide on the train because I don't want to wear the same shoes for all three outfits, but this is going to be the first one. I also just have a couple other things packed. So this is my Cezanne cardigan. I'm like loving their brand lately. They have really, really good quality like knits and things like that. And these are shorts that are also from Cezanne with these really pretty um, buttons going up the front, kind of like how this sweater is. So that's going to be another outfit. And then the dress that I'm not sure if it fits or like if it's gonna be too long is this little like charcoal gray one. And I also haven't decided what shoes I wanna wear with it. Um, this was my Poland bag that I wore last night. Um, I'm also gonna do the belt with this, I think, just cause whenever there's belt loops, I always wanna put a belt on. Um, I also might need to bring a tank top for this and maybe wear the cardigan open. So I need to do a little bit more prep and get my bag ready before I leave. Okay, might be a little bit loud because of this truck, but this is Butterfield Market, and I'm meeting Avery on the corner here, which this is Venti. It's a little gelato place, and then next to it is Angelina, and it's a cute little Parisian cafe. I actually don't know if they're open yet. No, they're not. Um, so this is what it looks like. They have little pastries, really cute like French atmosphere, and then on the inside, it's like, they have like crown molding and little frescoes and things. And then the tables are these cute little marble ones. But it looks like, so we're Saturday, they open at 9 a.m. Every other day they're open at seven though. And then just to show you guys, we did a little bit of something different yesterday with our shooting. We went in front of this apartment building with these really nice trees in the background. And then on this side, shot in front of that little clean area but it's like spotless up here which is the greatest thing about shooting on the Upper East Side and then we walked across the street and went over to that side where it's like even more wooded and it was like the perfect fall um, kind of feel for our pictures so 
Um, we're actually gonna walk that way once Avery gets here. You guys probably can't tell, but we have our first goosebumps of the season. <laughs> Many more where this is coming from, but it's like 62 degrees out and yeah, I have goosebumps already. Feels great. here eating her overnight oats. I feel like I never update when we're actually at Ralph's, but we're sitting outside. We actually got a table, which is so nice, like a full four-person table. We were almost going to have to walk and like try to find another place to shoot, but we just sat down here and did it, which was honestly, thank God, because we were getting over it, kind of. We shot yesterday and today, and it's just, it's kind of a lot, so. Um, overstimulated. Overstimulated, yeah. A lot of people, it's like 9 a.m. on a Saturday, and it's crowded. And Avery said that at like 11. I don't know why I'm talking with my croissant, like it's my hand. <laughs> um, but Avery said that at like 11 a.m. on a Saturday, there's like a line down and around, which Ralph's is very, very cute. And the coffee is good. I got the seasonal latte, I forget what it's called. I think it's a maple, maple spice mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, um, with regular milk. But I feel like this is just one of those things that like you should see it but you don't necessarily have to like wait and get the coffee. If that's our that's our recommendation, <laughs> we decided. So come to Ralph's, see what it looks like, but you don't have to like wait, wait on the line. line. Yeah, there's a lot of really good coffee shops around New York City and I know I included this in my coffee video when I said like best coffee shop, yeah. so that's yeah. a little bit contradicting. Um, but there's a lot of different places you can go to. So definitely see it, but don't wait online for it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm back from shooting and my boyfriend just left to go to paintballing for his friend's birthday. So we have the apartment until 5 p.m. and I'm planning on just filming a bunch of things for you guys. So I'm gonna vlog, obviously, because I'm talking to you right now. Um, and then I think I wanna film like a fall outfits, like a transitional outfit styling video because I already have the rail built. I have a lot of new in things and also just the outfits that I've been shooting over the past couple of days with some adjustments I want to share with you guys in a YouTube video just so that it's not too repetitive if you do already follow me on Instagram. And if you don't, it's the same as my YouTube channel name. It's just Jenna Evangelia on Instagram so you guys can see like my daily outfits in New York City, like real in real time, day to day life if you would like to follow me over there. So I have a lukewarm coffee here. I ended up getting the maple spice latte. I think I told you guys that when I was outside of Ralph's and I'm so glad that I remembered to film there because I always just set, like do the, you know, the montage clips, but I never actually talk to you guys when I'm out and about. So anyway, I'm back and this was the last outfit that I shot and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna wear it all day long. This tank top, I have like a normal bra on, but I was gonna be wearing a cardigan. So I, didn't really care that the straps were out because you weren't going to see them, but this top is from Uniqlo. These are the ones that have the built-in cups. So if I wore this tank top originally, I wouldn't have needed a bra, but I was wearing my striped ones. So um, these are amazing. They're really good for layering, as you guys can tell. I wear them on their own in the summer, and then when we go into like the cooler temperatures, I wear them underneath everything, and then even in the winter time, I'll layer as an additional like layer for warmth, kind of. And then this cardigan, this is my Cezanne one. It's the Othello cardigan, I think. Avery has it in beige, and I was heavily considering the beige, but I just knew myself, and so I ended up going with the black instead, and I do not regret it at all. I could always get the beige one later down the line if I want to, but I just really loved the black, and that it has these tortoise buttons. I think this is a really nice and warm detail to it. And then my shorts are also from Cezanne. I need to like figure out where to show you guys my outfits because I feel like the TV is not a vibe. <laughs> um, but these are a gray kind of like wool material shorts and they also have buttons going down the front too. And then I just put on my little skinny YSL Cassandra belt. I highly recommend getting a belt like this. It doesn't have to be designer, but I will link this one for you guys. And I'll also link the larger size that I have just because I feel like you don't need both for sure, but if you wanted to have both, they serve completely different purposes. And I love having like a thinner one and more of like a thicker substantial one for like trousers and things like that. Um, but yeah, so this was the outfit and then I'm wearing these little like patent leather 
um, lace up shoes and I kind of feel like a British paper boy in this outfit, but it's like in the best way possible. So, um, my bag that I wore was this one from Chanel and I have this like cross bodied. I was actually taking pictures sitting down and then where are my sunglasses? Cause I, ooh, shoot. I cannot be dropping this child on the ground. <laughs> um, my sunglasses. Okay, so I have two to show you guys. These just came in from a brand called Ban Bay. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I actually asked um, one of my friends, Paulina, on Instagram where her sunglasses were from, and she told me they were this brand, and I was literally looking them up, and then I got a DM from them a couple days later. Let me just turn the air off. So I got an email from them a couple days later, and at, they asked if I wanted to pick out a couple of styles, and I was freaking out. So. This is the first pair. These are what I was wearing with this outfit. I went with the brown tortoise. So these are actually ones that Paulina had, but I went with the brown instead of the black because I have my Chanel ones that are similar, but these are a little bit more narrow with the frame. And I like sunglasses that fit my face well. I don't really like oversized ones and I don't like ones that are super small, like the 90s vibe, but just not really my style. So these were perfect. And I actually really love how dark the tortoise is. You can't actually, really see it on camera, but they are like a brown tortoise. You can kind of tell there. Um, and again, like I just liked that with all the tortoise buttons that I have going on in this outfit. And then the other ones that I want to show you guys are actually, I'm like freaking out because I'm so excited that they ended up looking so similar to the ones that I wanted. These to me are a Celine dupe. I don't know what the name of the sunglasses are that I'm talking about, but I feel like you guys will know. So I wanted those Celine like Triumph like logo sunglasses forever. I was actually looking at them and when I go on a business trip in November, I was gonna buy them um, like tax free and everything. But then I got these and they look the exact same when I was shooting um, yesterday with Hathel. She was like, are those the Celine sunglasses? And I was like, no. And I'm pretty sure these are $75. So super affordable. I love the quality of these too. They're very, very strong. And I feel like the plastic, they're like, they almost have like a weight to them. I can't really explain it. And then the logo is only on one side, which I think is a really nice minimal detail. So I'm gonna link both of these styles, but I cannot recommend this company enough. I feel like they do really, really good quality sunglasses for an amazing price. Usually that's not the case. If you pay a cheaper price, it's because they're a little bit cheaper made and that's just not for a band bay. I feel like they should be charging like, I don't know, I feel like I paid 150 to $200 for these and they are super affordable. So I'll link these for you guys. I'm obsessed with them and I feel like I've only been wearing those when I'm shooting over the past couple of days. But now I am going to get the rail together for outfit styling. I don't know what it is, if I'm like in a new space or the fact that I can like basically go to any of these like areas of the living room and film a video because that's how amazing the light is in here. But it's very encouraging. I feel like I am just excited to get all of these videos up for you guys. And like, obviously this is my favorite season to dress for also. And that just makes everything like, I don't know, super inspiring and I'm ready to go. I do also wanna give you guys home updates. Um, so I think I'm gonna quickly walk you guys through the apartment right now and what everything looks like. It's not 100% like cleaned up and ready for an apartment tour, just to let you guys know we're still figuring some things out and unpacking and we have to hang artwork and everything, but let me just show you where we're at. You guys have no idea how happy I am to look into this living room all the time. Um, but I am at the opening to so our bedrooms over there with a bunch of stuff that still has to be unpacked because our dresser just arrived and I have to build it. But this is what it looks like right now. Our dining table is the perfect size for this space. I had a little bit of trouble with some of the table, I mean the chair legs. And so a couple of them are a little bit wobbly, but I love the color of this walnut. On top of the fact that this entire table and chairs comes in a set for $300 or it's like $350. Everything else like the table was like 450 on its own and then chairs were costing like 70 or 80 bucks a piece. And so very, very cost effective. They are pretty comfortable honestly for the price. The chairs are not like too firm or anything. Um, and it did not take me too long to put together. So I think it was like two and a half hours, actually probably less. Um, and then on top of it, I started to screw 
the table leg on the inside instead of on the outside where it is right now and that took an extra half hour for me to get all the screws out because I put it on there really really tight um, so if I didn't do that it would have taken a lot less time but this is our dining set I absolutely love it and I think that the tones and everything this is like a huge thing that I was afraid of which I shouldn't be but um, is everything matching together and looking cohesive I mean, it doesn't make sense because I have my desk chair right there. That's a completely different color wood, but I have no idea what I'm doing with that yet because I don't think I'm getting a desk. So that's the dining table. I will link this for you guys. It's from Target and the shipping was super quick on top of everything else. And then our rug is from Ruggable. This was the easiest thing to set up. So basically the way it works is that this is a washable piece that kind of like Velcros to the bottom. So you have the rug pads that you lay down and then you just roll this piece over the top. And I love the pattern of this. I'm so, so happy that we went with this one because I feel like it's a really good way to add in some detail when we have a very neutral living room. And then our little end tables you guys would have seen, those look really nice. I need to figure out how to either get this one fully onto the carpet so that it's not half off and like wobbly or um, other way around. So we could either like push the couch that way so that this one's on because this is the one that you're going to see and then that one can chill on the floor over there because you can't really see it from the doorway anyway um, and then our pillows so these are the pillows that came with the couch I'm still trying to decide if I want to put the boucle cover over this one but this is the linen set that we got from H&M 20 bucks for this little cover and it looks so expensive I can't even explain to you guys I'm never spending like a hundred dollars on a pillow ever again because these look so elevated and so nice and they were super cost effective and then I'm just gonna explain this little pile behind here we have some curtains and these stupid curtain rods <laughs> they are like a tension rod and this part just slips right off the wall no matter how tight we make it so it would be super annoying to be opening and closing the curtains and having this fall all the time and I should have just brought one to test it out and then got more, but I was impatient because if it did work out, then I would have had all of them ready and we could have hung the curtains like two days ago. But because they don't work out, we have to return all of them. And this one I was trying to test with it, but it just really wasn't working. So we're going to return those, but these are the curtains for the living room. They are a little bit lighter than the shade on the rug. So I honestly don't know. This is from building stuff um i honestly don't know if i want to keep those because i think the tone is a little bit too light but then i don't want to have like super super dark curtains in here even though they're linen and the light will still show through so these are tbd these are the ones for our bedroom that we're definitely keeping but i need to get a new rod and then what else we have the mirror is finally set up over here which you guys would have seen already i wanted to find out a way um to put it against that window because i think it gets a lot better light but I don't know if that's going to happen I can maybe put it where the clothing rack is and then just you know like do the outfit check behind here just to also mention I don't know if the clothing rack is staying here we're trying to figure that out this is the lamp that we got from Amazon it's actually been a lifesaver because we don't get um, overhead lighting in this room and so we've been using that and then um, just for like at nighttime and stuff because obviously during the day it's perfectly fine in here and then this is a problem <laughs> so my boyfriend has a standing desk which is completely fine with me but we have this issue so this is the steamer that is not usually here so ignore that cord but all of the other cords are in a pile on the floor slash like going up first of all i don't even know how, how there are this many i have like two cords in my setup at work but he has a couple of monitors a camera you know like all that kind of stuff so it's a bunch of wires here and a bunch there so if anyone has any ideas on how to hide those please like link something or explain to me how to put those somewhere because we cannot be looking at this it looks like a spider web and it's obviously not cute and it's a little bit chaotic so we're gonna try to figure that out and then over here we actually have the record player slash like record holder console table thing <laughs> And we're gonna do a little stand here so that whatever record is playing at the time you could put the cover of it up here So you know it's playing these two prints are gonna be hung somewhere. We're just not sure yet This one I have to take out of there because I don't want the blue in here. I'm like very picky about that I only want to do warm tones and then these are my boyfriend's guitars Which I actually think look really cool in here and it's a very interesting detail that I obviously would not be able to bring to the table because I don't play guitar 
And then our TV stand here. So everything that's under there are things that need to be styled on our feature coffee table, which has not shipped yet, and on the table over there. So we have like my scalloped bowl, table co coffee table books, and I'm gonna put some of that stuff on the dresser once I build it, and then the rest of it will go on the table here. And just to also mention, I have this little revolver thing that you guys would have seen a million times probably on my dresser in my old apartment and I ended up getting the sticky stuff off of it, which I don't know why I didn't do that before. I was just hiding it with like a fragrance, but there was a sticker mark here and I just used like oil, like body oil to get it off. And so this is gonna stay on the table in the center. I think it makes sense because it's one of those like revolving platter things. And so yesterday we did a little like Chinese food night and we had a couple of different like dishes. I know it's very small, but I think it fits the size of the table really well. And then these prints, we're trying to figure out where to put them. So um, a lot of artwork that needs to be figured out. This is a print that I really love, but Polly thinks that it is girly, which I am going to agree with. It's like a little <laughs> French bakery. So if I get a desk or a vanity, I will put this above it. And then not sure what we want to do with this one. I think I actually want to put a print that we have inside of this wooden frame instead of the black one that it's in. So I might just use the frame and ditch the print. And then this is the Gucci storefront and we'll probably put that up here when we get a little console table. This rug I'm not crazy about, but my boyfriend brought it from home and we were just testing it out to see if we like it there. Obviously it's very cool toned and the rest of the apartment is like warm slash like earthy toned. So I don't think it works in that sense, but I didn't wanna just fully say that we are not using it. So <laughs> we'll figure out what to do there. I just finished filming the transitional outfits video and I'm so excited. I think I only started once filming this entire thing because I just live for this type of styling. And I made a little end table situation for the cutaways. So this is one of our end tables for the living room. And then I just put these flowers that I got from Adenola and a base candle on there. They didn't show in the video though, so kind of premature. And then this dress is hanging here because my sister needs a rehearsal dinner dress for her friend's wedding. And this is like a chocolate brown velvety number that I think would look really pretty for that. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing for the past half hour. I also just made myself a really late breakfast. This was a everything bagel with um, toasted with cream cheese. And now I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> This like reminded me because I just made myself food. But our kitchen is obviously like no secret there that this is a little bit outdated. Our um, appliances are from like 2009 <laughs> and the countertops are less than stunning. So I ordered contact paper against my better judgment because I think that this project might drive me insane. But I think what I'm going to try and do is start with this little piece here. So from the sink over and try to put the contact paper on and see if it looks nice. The problem is that I got this like super narrow one because I liked the pattern on this one better. All of the other ones had really, really like dark veins going through it and it just looked so fake. I mean, I'm sure this is gonna look fake because it's literally glossy, but everyone that has it, it looks really nice. And it's more so just for aesthetic purposes because when I'm filming coffee videos and stuff, I don't wanna have this as the base. So I think I'm gonna try to do this. I know it's a priority for me to do the dresser first, but I kind of wanna get this over with because I have no idea how this is gonna work out or if I'm gonna get like frustrated, but we have the contact paper, my coffee that I've been drinking for nine hours, and this X-Acto knife that's going to help with getting around these different creases. So that's gonna be the next project. We'll see if I get to it today. If not, I'm gonna start building the dresser because I'm in desperate need of putting away all of my clothes. Okay, so I just finished putting on the contact paper. I'm not gonna lie, I did a pretty bad job. Like, this looks fine. Um, I think I did a pretty good job on the seam here because you're like the paper was only a certain width. So I did have to do two pieces and then I didn't do too terribly up in this crease, but like this is a mess. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks even worse on camera. But we also have some bubbling over here, which I think you can fix with a hairdryer. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, 
let me just say from far away and just in general, this looks 10 times better than this. And I hope we can all agree on that. If you don't agree, definitely let me know because I'm curious and please ignore the dishes that I have to do in the sink. But this looks so much nicer. It's so much brighter in here. It looks really nice. Like I'm about to have some tricks. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like really in the mood for an afternoon snack and I have some editing to finish up. So I'm going to have that as a snack and I just feel like showing a photo of my tricks in a bowl on this countertop is so much prettier than the dark and like old gray one. So I don't know. We'll see what Polly says. I'm going to wait till he gets home and see what he thinks about it. And if he is cool with it, I might try to either fix this or relay this piece and just do a separate piece up here. And then I don't know. I feel like this is a really hard countertop to do because we have like a lot of you know different dimensions and the little backsplash here we also have the breakfast bar that i have to get covered and then this whole thing and then this side too but honestly this didn't really take me that long i think it was like 10 minutes i was on the phone with my mom for like two hours and i think this took me like 10 or 15 minutes so in the grand scheme of things i think it does look a lot better and now i understand why people do this temporary fix but it, I like want to do it right and I feel like this wasn't right and it's gonna bother me so um, We'll see what Polly says when he comes home and then possibly just do the entire counter But considering the fact that this roll of stuff cost me 20 bucks. I feel like this is a pretty good result Okay, so I just made myself a bowl of tricks, but I have such a random question to ask you guys when you have cereal, do you keep it in the box or do you take the bag out and store it in the bag and just not take up space? Because I feel like this does take up a lot of room. I'm not the type of person I don't think that's going to be emptying these into like nice aesthetic clear containers just because I don't know that I want to take the time or effort to do that. But I feel like growing up, we always kept them inside the bag without the box. And now I'm using the box and I am like, I don't know why this feels weird, but let me know what you guys do, that's so random, but I'm curious. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I'm dressed and ready and in the middle of Soho. I woke up this morning and was craving a little yogurt bowl, so I showered, fully did my hair, and then um, made myself some breakfast. And then I came down to meet Sammy and Hathel, and we're just shooting on, where are we? I think we're on Mercer Street, and it smells like pee. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a whiff. Um, but I am in my second outfit, so I can put you guys down and see if I could show you before I take pictures again, because Sammy is currently shooting Hazel. Okay, it's too dark for me to put you on a ledge, but I'm wearing a little cropped um, racer tank from Uniqlo. This is the one that has the built-in pads. And then this blazer is from Kukai, and then I'm wearing also the Kukai mini skirt and my little bow heels that I'm obsessed with. I just wanna wear these all the time, but we're actually going to a friend's birthday later today in Hoboken and these shoes aren't really like fitting for it, so I probably won't be wearing them, but they're just so cute, and the heel is so short, they're so comfortable, and I think they're fully stocked, so I will link this whole outfit for you guys. Guys, I'm on my way home, and I'm just passing this bridal store that looks so cool inside, and I'm like looking at these dresses over here, and they're stunning, but not the time yet. Hello guys, happy Monday. It's been a full day since I last spoke to you. I am home from work right now and I'm on potato duty. Anytime that we cook, I am the 
basically the sous chef, but I'm also in charge of sides, and potatoes is actually one of my favorite things to make. So we're doing them mashed tonight. So I just went and chopped all of those up and they're boiling. And while that's happening, I wanted to show you guys the update with the dresser because there was a time lapse in here of me building it. The drawers ended up being so tiny, and so that was just kind of a fail, but I'll show you guys where I ended up putting it. I originally tried to put it in the bedroom, which that's ideally where I would want it to be, but I have to get another dresser now because it literally doesn't hold anything. So that has to stay where I just put it, and then I'm ordering or trying to find the IKEA Malm dresser from Facebook Marketplace because there's a couple people downtown who are selling it. And I would just rather have it built and figure out how to transport it with a task grabber or something so that I don't have to spend $300 again and then also spend another three and a half hours building something. I don't know if the camera just cut out, but. Um, and then I have going out tops in this bottom left drawer. This one's empty for right now. I have to decide what I want to do with that because I don't really have anything except for like maybe workout stuff that would fit in there. And then we also have these two prints that I think look really good here. The only problem is that they are pretty big for just hanging over. Like if I'm going to hang both of them over the dresser, I feel like it spans really wide. Whereas I maybe want to do something a little bit more narrow so that the dresser is longer like a little bit longer on either side than the prints that I would hang. And I have the Gucci print that is like a horizontal, like port is it portrait or is this portrait? I don't know, but it's a horizontal photo and I feel like it would fit better here. But for right now, I just put these as a little detail and then I would style it with table books and all that fun stuff. And then this is our hotel collection diffuser. There's a scent in here, I forget the name of it, but it smells insanely good. And when we first moved in, it was like a little bit of a weird scent when you first walked in. So I wanted to put this more toward the door. I used to have it in the living room, but I'm going to put a different diffuser in the living room. And then we'll have this so that when you walk in, it just smells like a beautiful hotel luxury lobby. So those are all of the home updates that I have for you guys in this vlog. And I am going to be working from home on Wednesday this week because we have the exterminator coming to spray the whole apartment. They come twice a month, which is great. Um, and I got us on the list for that. So. Um, I'm probably gonna vlog then and then also on Friday when I work from home. So we're going to end off this video here. I don't know how long this has been going on, but I feel like with building furniture and doing all these updates and everything that we've had a good episode here. And speaking of episode, I feel like I want to start calling these episodes because it just feels like, I mean, I feel when I'm watching a vlog that I'm watching reality TV that is not scripted and is like more real life. And so I kind of want to like bring that onto YouTube and just call these episodes, but we'll see if I end up remembering to do that. Anyway, as per usual, we're going on a rant at the end of a video when I should just be ending it off. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for commenting on the videos and for subscribing. If you guys have not already, I would love to have you. And I will see you guys in my next video.